Welcome to the St. Francis Prep College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer your questions. My name is Raina and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, we have a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash SFP. Now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, DeSalle's University. Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen real quick and just show some quick facts for everybody and uh, talk you guys through it as we go. Some facts about the sales. Uh, we're a relatively small school with 1,800 full-time traditional day students. We represent 23 states and seven countries. Uh, we're 58 to 42 female to male, uh, mainly because of some of our larger majors, which include uh, a lot of the healthcare division. And we are a Catholic school in the Salesian tradition. We're located in Center Valley, Pennsylvania. Uh, we have a 550 acre campus. Um, we're about 15 minutes from Bethlehem and Allentown, one hour from Philadelphia and two hours from New York City, just to give you a general sense of the area that we're in. Some things about our academics, our average class size is about 19 students and the student faculty ratio is 13 to one. Uh, we have faculty advisors within every single major. And a really important thing to know is that there are no TAs. Um, you're gonna be taught directly by the professors in every single course that you take. Um, obviously 86% of the faculty hold the highest degree attainable in their field. Um, and we do have an academic success center that's gonna help you with everything that you could need. There is uh, peer tutoring, professional tutoring, and all of that is free of charge for you as soon as you are a student here at the sales. Some of the divisions that we have, business, healthcare, nursing, science, and mathematics, performing arts, liberal arts, and social science. And then for those of you who are unsure exactly what you wanna do, we have our own division called exploratory studies. Um, that's for anybody that's undeclared when they enter into the school. The things I want to highlight, uh, we do have a career development center. They're going to help you with internships, externships, one-on-one -on -one career coaching, um, networking events, grad school preparation. We do have a career closet where if you're looking to get a suit or outfit for an interview, you can come and grab one right out of the closet. One of the fun student life activities, when you are coming to DeSales, you're going to spend an entire weekend going through Character U, where you will have a mentor who is an upper class student. They will talk you through to sale, show you all of the buildings, the sights and sounds, and make sure that you're comfortable on campus. Uh, we have over 50 clubs and organizations. You just need to find 10 other people and get one faculty member and you can create your own club. Uh, we also have a center for community service and advocacy, which is if you're interested in any sort of service activities on campus, as well as multiple club and intramural sports. Really fun residence life situation. Housing is guaranteed for all four years. Um, it is suite style residence halls, which means you will not have communal bathrooms. You're gonna get an individual bathroom that you share with your roommate and then the two other people in your suites. Um, and you will also be able to move into apartment style dorms once you keep progressing through the school. We do have a free housekeeping service that is full-time and a full-time police force that is on campus to make sure that if you lock your keys in your dorm, lock your keys in your car, get a flat tire, whatever, they're here to help you out. They're not here to enforce any laws. Um, it is mainly just to make sure everybody feels safe. And for all the first year students, you are allowed to bring a car onto campus. We have multiple travel opportunities, um, hybrid courses, which mean you can spend an entire year, just a semester or simply a spring break trip. Um, we have had students go to Australia, Rome, Spain, Italy, France. If you are interested in going pretty much anywhere, all you would have to do is reach out to our Center for International Learning and they could set up a trip for you as well. A list of some of our athletics. Um, we are a Division Three school. 
uh, outside of one sport, our eSport program is Division I. Um, otherwise, if you're interested in learning more, I would highly recommend that you reach out to a coach in the sport that you play, send videos, um, and start getting yourself recruited. Uh, we're very competitive in every single thing that we do, and we believe it is a very important part of the student life. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about how to apply, um, there's two ways to do it. You can go through the Common App or you can go onto our website. It's free either way. There's a difference in the essay prompt, but otherwise we don't weigh it any differently. Um, I think it's pretty easy just to go through the Common App. So if you're doing that, just check off the box and get your application into the sales. We need an official high school transcript and two letters of recommendation, but we are test optional for this year, guys. So just send the things that you think will reflect the best part of who you are as a student. We're rolling admissions, so get your info in as soon as you can, and you'll hear from us in about two to three weeks. Some of the specific SAT and GPA requirements are listed above. You can see that a lot of it is for our Division of Healthcare. Um, forming arts students, you will have an audition if you are accepted through the normal application process. If you have questions about anything that you see above, please feel free to let me know. Here's some information on our financial aid. This is just the cost for um, any on-campus students. Um, but the important thing to know is that 50% or excuse me, most of the students here at the sales pay only about 50% tuition because we have several scholarship and grant opportunities. As you can see, as soon as you get your application in, you're automatically going to be considered for a merit-based scholarship. Um, there's more information and more scholarship opportunities through our heritage scholarship and our leadership scholarships as well. And if you go to a Catholic school, you will automatically be considered for a Catholic school grant. Some of the important dates, um, as you can see, several have passed us by. The main thing to think about is we encourage everyone to get their information in by December 1st. And uh, also you can see that there's firm deadlines for medical studies, health science and communication sciences and disorders. Um, as soon as you get everything in, like I said, about two to three weeks, you're going to hear back. And by mid-December, you're going to get your financial aid package. And because we are rolling admissions, there's no firm deadline, just May 1st, which is National Decision Deadline Day. More thank visiting you, opportunities. Thank yep. Thank you to sales. If you want to put your contact information in the um, chat for everyone, students can reach out. And next, we have the University of Scranton. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Let me share my screen here. All right. All set there. So hi, everyone. My name is Jill. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. Um, I am an admissions counselor at the University of Scranton, as well as a proud Scranton alum. So I graduated from there in 2019 and absolutely loved every second of it. So I'm happy to share a little bit about the school with you. Um, starting off a uh, little bit about us, we are a proud Catholic and Jesuit university. So that is a huge part of our identity, really does play a big role in who we are and in the experience that you'll have at Scranton, both inside and outside of the classroom. So some core Jesuit values are really incorporated into daily life at Scranton. And I think that it really serves to give students more of a transformational experience than just an educational experience. I know that I certainly grew and changed more at my four years um, in Scranton than probably the rest of my life combined. So you'll definitely get to experience that as well. To take a look at Scranton by the numbers, I'll pull up this slide here. So we are a smaller to medium sized school. We have about 3,500 undergrad students. I think it's that nice size. No matter where you go on campus, you see somebody you know, you run into a familiar face, see a friend, and yet you constantly meet new people as well. Uh, we have an average class size of 20 students and classes are capped off at 35 students. So we definitely like to keep things smaller in the classroom, very personal, very hands-on. You're always gonna get to know all of your classmates, you're gonna get to know your professors and they're gonna get to know you back, which is extremely important. You know, if you're ever struggling or you need help or you just wanna chat with a professor, you're actually gonna have that relationship where you can go talk to them, which I think makes a huge difference in the academic experience. 
speaking about academics here at Scranton, we like to say it's really all about finding and pursuing your passion. So whether you have a pretty good idea of what you want to study or you're still deciding, uh, we'll help you explore and we'll really help you figure it out while you're here. So in order to do that, we have 69 majors and 49 minors that you can choose from pretty much areas in every different academic discipline. And like I said, you'll absolutely be able to kind of explore while you're here. Um, a lot of our students do end up double majoring or having a major and a minor, and we also have different concentrations and tracks. Uh, we also have a lot of ways that students can push themselves academically. So we have five honors programs that students can participate in. We have great faculty-led research programs. Um, if you're thinking about continuing your education, we have some traditional graduate programs as well as, as, well as accelerated graduate programs. Um, so lots of opportunities to really kind of strengthen your academic experience while you're here. To talk a little bit more about our Catholic and Jesuit identity, um, we do have a division of mission and ministry on campus. So this is there for all students and they're really there to kind of help um, help our students, you know, journey through their um, faith experience, no matter what that faith may be. So for our Catholic students or students looking to practice the Catholic faith, we do have daily and Sunday masses on campus, but we also have interfaith resources. And then we also just have a lot of service opportunities. So every year our students are logging about 170,000 hours of service and they're doing it all over the world. Um, obviously with COVID, some of our international service trips were paused, but they are going to be starting up again as soon as it's safe. So if you're into service, that's absolutely something you'll have the opportunity to do here. Other ways that you can get involved in Scranton really are plentiful. One of my favorite things about being a Scranton student was just all of the things that there were to do and all of the ways that there were to meet new people. So right now we have over 80 clubs and organizations that you could join. Um, there are over 900 events that happen on campus every year. So every day of the week, pretty much, but especially on weekends, there's always something that you can go to. Um, if you're interested in playing sports in college, we do have 23 men's and women's division three sports. So we are a D3 school. But then we also have about 25 club and intramural sports as well, if you're interested in playing at that level. So always very easy to get involved. And I always like to say it's very hard to be bored as a Scranton student. So you don't have to worry about that. If you're thinking about applying to Scranton or you're already in that process, uh, this slide has some of our main information. So we are located on the Common App. It's the only app we have, the only app that you'll have to submit, and it is free. So you don't have to worry about paying anything. Uh, a really good deadline to keep in mind is November 15th, which is our early action deadline. And we highly recommend applying early action. If you do apply by November 15th, you will get your decision back on December 15th. If you miss that deadline, really not the end of the world, you can still apply pretty much any time after that. Our preferred regular decision deadline isn't until March 1st. Um, when it comes to reviewing applicants, we really like to use a holistic approach. So we care about everything that you have to offer, you know, not just your grades or test scores, uh, but we really wanna know more about who you are as a person. So letters of recommendation, personal statements, list of activities, all of that really does mean just as much to us as your grades. And then when it comes to grades and scores, you can see our middle 50% ranges listed there on the slide. Um, so that's generally where you wanna fall, but we do accept students from other above and below those ranges. And I do want to mention that we are test optional as well for all majors. When it comes to cost, you can see a breakdown of our cost information on this slide. Obviously, there's some pretty big numbers, but the total direct cost is not reflective of what the average student or family is paying to come to Scranton. Last year, 99% of first year students who applied were offered scholarship and or aid, and the average package was about 42,000. As far as scholarship goes, you're automatically evaluated when you apply. And then as far as need-based aid goes, you just have to file the FAFSA. So pretty much as simple as it gets. So that is really all the information that I had for you today. Uh, thanks so much again for coming out and I'll put my uh, contact information in the chat. So if you need anything, please feel free to let me know. So thank you. Okay, next up we have King's College joining us. Hi, my name is Kristen O'Callaghan. I'm from King's College. Um, we are located in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, um, not far from Scranton, actually. <laughs> so um, I am the Regional Associate Director of Admissions, and here's my contact information if you need to get in contact with me. 
Um, we are a Holy Cross school, Congregation of the Holy Cross school. So some of the, those are some of the schools that are listed, uh, that are listed also are part of the Congregation of the Holy Cross. King's College mission is of values and service. So, and core curriculum. So those are uh, important parts um, that we put an emphasis on when you attend King's and our students really thrive in those areas. Um, we have approximately 2,300 undergraduate students for a pretty evenly mixed between male and female. Our um, average class size is 18 and our student faculty ratio is 12 to one. So you're really getting that personalized education. The professors know when you're in class, you're not gonna get any big lecture halls. So you really um, foster a good relationship with your professors and you get to know them and they get to know you, which is really nice. Um, more than 86% of our faculty have a PhD or equivalent terminal degrees. So that's really good. And 99% um, of our graduates are employed or attend grad school within six months of graduation. Um, so on, at King's, we have 40 plus majors and nine pre-professional programs, over 50 clubs and organizations on campus. So there's always something to join and something to do. We have 28 NCAA Division III athletic teams for men and women. Um, we have a ton of volunteer opportunities. Our freshmen, actually part of their orientation is doing a service um, volunteer opportunity in within the community. Um, so you help the community and you're also getting to know your freshmen, uh, fellow freshmen as well. And a lot of people make their first friends that way. Um, we have study abroad on campus, uh, traditional during um, the semesters. And we also provide study abroad during um, vacations and breaks. And you can also take a uh, study abroad class as a credit for a couple of weeks as well. So um, that's a nice opportunity to take advantage of. We do have an academic skills center. So there's tutoring for every class. If you need any accommodations, we honor all accommodations and disability services. And um, we just need the proper paperwork. We honor all dietary needs. There's a writing center on campus, a counseling center on campus, academic workshops and mentorships. And we have the Campus Shield app as well. Um, there's different places that you can dine at at King's. And I know a big one for teenagers nowadays is Chick-fil-A. So that's our big claim to fame that we have a Chick-fil-A on campus um, open Monday through Saturday. You can use your um, Monarch Bucks for that or your King's, your swipe for your dining hall. Um, we have traditional on campus. Um, King's Court is traditional where it's um, uh, stations and you can get all different kinds of things. So there's plenty of places to eat on campus. Um, these are a list of all our majors and programs at King's. So if you wanna look, get a deeper look, you can go to kings.edu and all the descriptions of the majors will be on our website. Um, we hold accreditations for all these programs, occupational therapy, physician assistant, athletic training, engineering. We have an accredited business program, nursing. So those are good when you're looking for a job or an internship. Um, these are all our advisement tracks that we um, offer at King's. So we also have a pre-law program, Villanova and Duquesne. So you go to King's for three years and then those law schools for three years as well. Um, we also, you don't have to pick a major when you come to King's, you can come in undeclared and we do offer a class your freshman year, first semester or second and second semester. Um, they, you take part in career assessments and develop a plan and, and a lot of our students do find a major that way and they enjoy the class. Um, here are all our athletic um, teams that we have on campus. We do not give athletic scholarships, but we do give merit scholarships. Um, so how do you apply to Kings? We are on the Common App and we do have a Kings app. They are both free. Um, and you just need to fill out the application, your high school transcript. We are SAT or ACT optional. And um, this is our average or 3.6, but we do obviously, there is a range below that and above that. Um, so 3.6 is not the, the end all and be all. 
Um, there are some dates here, some of them have passed. Common App opens August 1st. And um, if you've started that, you can add us easily because we are free. The FAFSA, we give out $1,000 for filling out the FAFSA. Our early action is December 1st, and we do have rolling admissions, so we will accept your um, application until May 1st as well. Um, these are our scholarships. Everybody gets a scholarship for getting accepted into Kings from eighteen dollars to $25,000. So the better your grades are, the more scholarship you do receive. And this is our costs if you are going to live on campus. Um, so if you'd like to contact me, here's my information again, and here's our social media as well. All right, thank you. Okay, and next up we have Towson University. Let me just share my screen really quick. Yep, so hello everyone, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Matt McMahon. I am a admissions counselor for Towson University. I also just graduated from TU back in May of this year. So I'm fresh out of college and can't wait to tell you all about Towson. I absolutely loved my four years there. So a little bit about Towson. We do have a little over 19,000 undergraduate students, a little over 20,000 students total, including doctorate and graduate programs as well. Uh, we have 110 majors, minors, and concentrations for you to choose from. So if you're not quite sure what you want to go or what you want to major in when you enter college, it's absolutely fine. We definitely have options for you. And the average class size is only 24. That's because the average class size in the state of Maryland is 24. Also should have started with this. Uh, we are located in Towson, Maryland, um, about five hours south of New York. So because the average high school class size is only 24 in Maryland, we want to keep that with everybody. Um, so you will have that personalized experience um, and you really won't have any lecture halls. Um, the only time you may is if uh, you will have to get like a gen ed course out of the way and you'll be in a lecture hall. Largest one I ever had was 250 people, uh, a lecture hall that fit 250 people, but it maxed out at 40. So you're really not going to have like massive classes. We really only use uh, the lecture halls at full capacity for when we have guest speakers on campus. And then our academics. So we have six colleges at Towson University. Uh, first one is our College of Business and Economics. We are a top 30 business program within the United States. So that's absolutely amazing. About 96% of our business graduates within six months of graduating are either fully employed, uh, interning, or doing some sort of research in the field. That you also, if you're in the School of Business Economics, you will have a minimum of 120 hour internship that is required, but that's integrated into your major. So normally your junior, senior year, you'll end up getting that out of the way. And uh, the, your advisor and our career services department will help you find that internship. We won't give it to you because we want, but what we will do is we'll give you a list of places where students have interned in the past and then say, reach out because we want you to start building those connections yourself. Um, College of Health Professions, we produce the most amount of nurses in the state of Maryland. We're currently in the process of building our brand new College of Health Professions building. It's absolutely gonna be insane, uh, seven stories tall, and then the top floor is gonna be hospital simulation. So once you step off that elevator, it's gonna be like you're stepping off or stepping into a real life hospital wing. We're very excited for that over the summer. A few members of the admissions department got to play with like interactive tables that are gonna be in there. And they said it was really cool. And then fine arts and communication, that's COFAC. Basically theater, art, anything like that's gonna be COFAC. Absolutely great department, some notable names to come out of there. Amy Schumer, Brian Stelter, um, Mike Rowe. And this past May, a girl who graduated uh, with me, I believe it was the day before, she now interned with Pixar over COVID. She now has a job with Pixar, so we're all really proud of her. So she was living down in Florida, working with them, making really cool movies. And then liberal arts. So the College of Liberal Arts, that's basically just psychology, uh, really any of our ologies, uh, to put it simply. There's a whole lot of stuff. Also, if you're uh, taking like any cultural anthropology or geology or anything like that, a lot of your uh, gen ed courses are going to be in College of Liberal Arts. So 
there's liberal arts, College of Education. We were founded in 1866 as the Educator School of Maryland. We still produce the most educators within the state. Chances are some of your teachers may have come through Towson. I'm originally from New Jersey and three of my high school teachers came through there. Um, it's insane the amount of teachers we produce. That's really what we're known for. Um, and then Fisher College of Science and Mathematics, that's what I went through when I was a sport management major. Uh, we just opened up our brand new science complex in last fall. So it's 300,000 square feet, largest building on campus. There's over 30 different labs for students to learn and work in. We also have some really cool stuff in there, like a sugar glider lab, like those little uh, flying squirrel things where students just observe them for a class, which is really cool. And then you'll get a personal experience here. So the student to faculty ratio is 16 to one, which is amazing for a school of our size. And then we also have over 7,100 internships given out each year. Those could be within the university uh, with or outside of it. Uh, with me, I interned with our athletic department my senior year. Uh, it's honestly a really good thing that I made a, a great relationship with my professor because he helped me get that. But you work with your professors, you'll get those internships. Most of our majors do require internships in order to graduate, which is great. And then our honors college, so the cool thing about the Honors College is that's just really of a more personalized experience. Uh, class sizes are smaller. If you're admitted to the Honors College, you will be there for, you have guaranteed housing all four years on campus, you know, or all four years of college. Um, you don't have to live on campus all four years if you're in the Honors College, but it's definitely there. Um, last year, we had a political science program within our Honors College where a uh, state representative from Maryland drove all the way up from Annapolis, which is our capital, the state house, and actually taught the course to our students, which was really cool. So with the Honors College, really just you're getting a more personalized experience with smaller classes, guaranteed housing. Also, uh, the professors are actively working in the field as well. And student experience. So at Towson, we are Division I. So we compete in the Colonial Athletic Association. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 19 D1 or 19 Division I athletics, uh, over 350 clubs and organizations for you to choose from. Really just a lot going on there. It's great. Housing and dining, we do have uh, over 20 different dining options for you to choose from. Also, 16 different uh, residence halls as well. So plenty of options for you. Uh, Tigers in the community, we do have over 100,000 college students within the area. That's because there's about seven or eight other schools within a 20 minute radius of us in Baltimore County. I like to say that all of them come to Towson because we're the cool kids in town. And there's so much to do. We have a mall, movie theater, a bunch of great restaurants. Uh, we're only 20 minutes north of Baltimore. So what we'll do is we have shuttles that run down to the Inner Harbor on the weekend. If you want to go to any museums or uh, National Aquarium, restaurants down there as well. But really, a lot of students just stay in the Towson area because there's just so much to do. Thank and then you, Towson University. Um, please put your contact information in the chat. Now we are moving on with Seton Hall University. Good evening, everybody. Let me just share my PowerPoint. Awesome. So one of the big things that I like to say about Seton Hall University is we offer the benefits that a larger research university would offer, but at a much smaller size. So first off, let me start off. Um, my name is Meredith, and I'm one of the assistant directors of admissions, and I'm so happy to be here tonight. We are located, we are a private Catholic institution located about 14 miles from New York City, as you can see in this lovely um, graphic. We're in a great central location because we're about 30 minutes from New York City. We're about three hours from DC. We're about three hours from um, Boston. And we are about uh, an hour from Philly and about 45 minutes from the Jersey Shore. So in a really good location where students love to get involved. Seton Hall is more of a medium-sized school, so we have about 6,000 undergraduate students. We have about 48% diversity rate, which is something we're always uh, growing. All 50 states are represented. Um, we have a pretty uh, female leading 55% uh, male uh, to ratio. We have about 70 different countries that we have represented. Um, something that I definitely have heard from the other amazing colleges are the personalized attention. That is something that I would definitely encourage students to look at. Average class size, about 21 students. Uh, your faculty ratio is about 14 to 1. So again, just like these schools, you're allowing post-faculty membership, uh, mentorships, excuse me, and you are being uh, taught by full-time faculty members. Your graduate assistants are there just more to um, be there for assistance and support, not to teach the class. 
just to highlight some of our academic programs, we have over 90 different programs that students can be a member of. We have the College of Arts and Sciences, which is our largest college is where you're going to see the humanities, the social sciences. This is where our students that are not exactly sure, maybe apply as undecided, will come. They will still be, you know, guided with an academic advisor for first year. Um, we have the College of Communication and the Arts. We just added an additional program, which is sports media in there, which is something we're very excited about. Something that we have um, that we are very strong in strong in is our is our medical health and sciences. We have direct entries for athletic training, um, occupational therapy, phys physical therapy, physical assistant, uh, physician's assistant, excuse me, and speech language pathology. Um, we have some dual degree programs with our law school as well. And we also just joined, uh, started a joint MD program. So you have the opportunity as a senior in high school to apply to some of these programs. Um, so something I would definitely uh, encourage students that are interested in some of these programs to check out as well. We also have an engineering program. We have a partnership with Stevens, which is located in Hoboken, New Jersey, as well. So if you're thinking about that as well, as I mentioned, when a student applies, these are direct entries. You're applying directly to these programs as well. Our business uh, school has some highlights that I just wanted to mention. We have a business leadership program, which is um, a little bit different than our traditional honors program. It is a program that is more designed to help develop leadership skills. Uh, that is ranked number one in the country. And we actually just have implemented a leadership board across all of our schools and colleges. So even if you're in education, you're in uh, one of the social sciences, you're in communication and the arts, you can be a part of this as well, if this is something you're interested in too. But again, if you are interested in a particular program, want to learn a little bit more about it in depth, definitely go visit our website. It has a lot of good information. The other thing, as I mentioned, we are a leader in health care. We have a uh, interprofessional health science campus. Um, these are where our students that are interested in nursing, some of those health science uh, dual degree programs and our joint MD program get to take advantage of. And the whole purpose of this program is to have that in collaborative environment that you're going to have in a healthcare facility one day. So as nurses, you're gonna have the opportunity to interact with other PAs and doctors. So you're really getting that um, with a mixture at the undergraduate level as well as the graduate level. So if you do plan to um, come visit and you are thinking a health science program, I encourage you to check out our South Orange campus as well as our IHS campus in Nutley, which is not too far. Um, we have, as I mentioned, our business leadership program. We have our Seton Hall, Low Pro Seton Hall Law School, which is ranked number 16th in the country. Um, we have a 98% graduate school acceptance rate. Um, and just to point out, we have 100% employment rate for our business education, health science programs, and our communication majors, which is something we're always very proud of. Something you would get at Seton Hall is hands-on learning, whether it's research with a faculty member, study abroad, community service, uh, clinicals uh, within our behavioral and psychological and psychology labs, taking advantage of New York City, you, you have so many advantages at your fingertips. We also have over 17,000 internship opportunities available to our students. We have a 12 member career center, which you can go to starting your freshman year. Um, and we have two uh, career fairs that happen throughout the semester for fall semester and spring semester, which allows uh, many employers to come and visit our campus and talk and to recruit our graduates. Um, again, 90% of our internship providers would hire our graduates if they had openings. Um, and we have a 95% employment rate. So something we are really, really proud of. And just to highlight again with internships, 81% of our students have at least one internship, if not more. So if you are interested in getting hands-on, uh, you know, no matter what your program is, it is definitely feasible. Whether you work with our career center, they might connect you with an alum where you can build that relationship from there. Talk a little bit about campus life. About 80% 80 80 of our freshmen do live on campus. Uh, we have over 150 different clubs and organizations from social, multicultural, um, and academic. We have 26 Greek life organizations that students can be a member of. And let's not forget again, New York City is right at our fingertips, about a 30 minute train ride. Um, and then we also have about a dozen student-led theater performances a year on campus or at our South Orange Performing Arts Center. So really getting the community within South Orange involved um, and bridging that gap. We have a lot of Pirate Pride. We are Division One, So this is a list of our men's and women's 
sports. We are really well known for our basketball. Uh, we have over, but if that's not something you're into or you are wanting to continue your athleticism, but not maybe at the division one level, we have about 25 clubs and intramurals. Uh, about 50% of our student body is involved with them as well. And as before, we are division one and we are in the big East conference. And we also just started an esports team, which has uh, won many championships as well. Some Thank of our you, Seton Hall University. And again, you feel free to share your contact information. We also want to remind our attendees you can submit questions in the Q&A. All right, and our last presenter will be Fairleigh Dickinson University. Hi, everyone. My name is Jessica. I'm from Fairleigh Dickinson University. Um, I am a new admissions counselor. I just graduated in May, and I majored in marine biology. All right, there we go. All right, so if you didn't know, we have four campuses. Our two main campuses are located in Madison, New Jersey and Teaneck, New Jersey. And then we have two international campuses, one located in Roxton, England, and one located in Vancouver, Canada. So about our Florham campus, which is located in, on an old uh, Twombly Vanderbilt estate. So they get to study in this beautiful mansion. We consider it our picturesque. It's very beautiful during the fall time. They have 23 division three athletics on that campus and about 70% of residents. On our metropolitan campus, this is located between Teaneck and Hackensack, New Jersey. We have the beautiful Hackensack River running through with the footbridge going between campuses. Um, they are 21 division one athletic teams on this campus and about 40% of residents. We are located just minutes minutes from New York City, which is great for internship opportunities as well as jobs. It's also great to go in for fun on weekends and see Broadway shows or visit museums. We have nine colleges between our two campuses, which equals up to about 100 plus majors. We also have <clears throat> 60 countries represented on our campuses and about our ratio is about 15 to one. We also have our other than our two international campuses, we also have partnerships with Spain, Switzerland, and Thailand. And what's great about our two international campuses is your tuition will follow you there as well. So basically you'll be paying like you're studying in New Jersey, but you're either in a beautiful Abbey or in Vancouver. So some important dates, if you apply by December 1st, your fee is waived. You also get a thousand dollar renewable grant and you'll get maximum consideration for your scholarship. So first years can get up to $25,000 in merit. You can also apply for your FAFSA. Our application is available on the Common App as well as our website. And then after January 31st, we are rolling admissions. So for our application, if you apply, we are test optional except for our nursing and accelerated medical programs. And also our resumes, recommendation letters and um, interviews are all optional, but highly recommended. It just helps us to get you know you better as a student. And if you have any questions, this is my contact information. Thank you. Hey, thank you everyone. Um, I'll ask all of our panelists to join me on video and we will uh, review a few questions for you. So what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Uh, DeSales University, we'll start with you. Well, I would just say ask questions, reach out to people and ask questions. This is your process and uh, make sure you're learning every bit of information that you can. The University of Scranton. Yeah, kind of piggybacks off his answer, but don't, uh, you know, don't forget to use all of the different resources you have available to you. So that includes, you know, all of us as admissions counselors, but also your high school guidance counselors, family, friends, anybody who's gone through the process before you. Um, at Scranton, we're, you know, always willing to have really personal kind of in-depth conversations with people, and I'm sure everyone else on this uh, video can agree. So don't, don't be afraid to use those resources that you have. King's College. I would recommend visiting campus, see how you feel. Um, if that's, it's always, you kind of get a feel as soon as you step on a campus, if it's for you or not. So that's uh, another good way of um, researching colleges. Towson University? Kind of piggy, piggybacking off of everyone else, definitely use all the resources available to you. It'll just make the process go so much easier and take a tour of the school. You'll 
don't want to go to a school that you never toured, then you step foot on their first day and you're like, I don't want to be here anymore. Seton Hall University. Yeah, definitely to echo and uh, mention what everyone else said. Pretty good uh, suggestions. Definitely go and visit the university, um, but definitely taking advantage of those opportunities, whether it's an open house, a day visit, talking to us. We are here to help you, to support you, be your advocates to help you um, to get involved. So don't be afraid to ask questions um, and get to know us. Early Dickinson University. Yes, I agree. Definitely visiting campus is a big thing. Getting a tour, seeing the dorms, seeing the classrooms. If you can try the food, that's always helpful. Even going around the area to see what's in the area, such as shopping or things to do on weekends. And talking to professors are also helpful. All right, our next question. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school, DeSalle's University? Um, I guess I would just really emphasize that our professors want you to succeed. Um, you know, reach out to them, talk to them. Um, they're the ones that are going to get to know you. Most of the students that I talk to here at the sales mentioned that it, it's really that personal feel that sets us apart. Um, and so that's what I want to just reflect and, and say to you guys, you know, we really have a small school feel and you're going to get to come here and, and get to know people individually. The University of Scranton. Yeah, one thing I'd want everyone to remember is really just how, how meaningful uh, of an experience Scranton will be both inside and outside of the classroom. Um, like I said, truly did kind of change my life and I think the rest of our students can, can say the same. So, you know, the ways that you're gonna grow academically, socially, mentally, emotionally, all of that, um, it's definitely gonna be worthwhile. So I hope you remember that throughout your search. Kings College. Um, the sense of community that we have on campus um, is bar none. Um, so that's what I would not want everybody to feel. So when you do come to campus, you do feel that sense of community that everybody's there to help you and um, want, wants to see you, see you succeed. And Towson University, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Uh, we are a big school with a small campus feel. Um, again, 20,000 students, but everything is very closely packed together. So you'll start seeing the same people over and over again around campus and in town. Also, again, over 350 clubs and organizations. So plenty of room for you to go out, meet new people and get involved in campus and in the community. Seton Hall University. Yeah, absolutely. We offer the benefits that a larger research university, so really hands-on learning, but at a much smaller supportive environment. So again, going back with some of what my peers said, or colleagues, um, in regards to that faculties that are teaching the classrooms, that student-focused, career-centered, um, that school-spirited, all what you're doing specifically, especially what Julian said as well, and Kristen, um, in regards to that community feel as well. And fairly Dickinson University. What's one thing that you want students to remember about your school? So our main goal is personal global transformational with personal being close class sizes, getting to know your professors, professors helping you with like internship opportunities, research opportunities, global with having great study abroad opportunities, as well as a very diverse campuses. And then transformational, obviously, when you graduate, you go on in four years or even five years with your master's, having those great connections with fellow alumni, and also our um, professors. Great, well, that's our time. Thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate your feedback. We encourage you to check back on the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at strivescan.com forward slash SFP.